When I told my wife I just bought a phone close to 2000, her immediate response was, why? Well, let's find out and see if I can justify the purchase. Cue the intro. What's happening, beautiful people? Jim here and welcome to the channel. Let me start by saying that I am not going to talk about the specs of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 because there are ample videos out there that talk about that already. Instead, I will be talking directly from my experience. The main selling point of this phone is it being able to fold. That's right. This is my very first foldable phone, so I am genuinely excited about using it. The first thing I notice about the Fold 6 is that it is a little bit bulky. It is probably because I used a slimmer Samsung Galaxy Note for over six years. So when I folded it for the very first time, it felt bigger. Not a big deal for me though, although it has been confirmed that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has its size slimmed down further already. Now, let me quickly share what we can find on the outside. On the top, you will find three mics and a speaker grill. When it is unfolded, on one side, you will find the hinge and it printed on it the Samsung logo. On the other side, you will find the volume rocker and the SIM card tray. This is also where you can find a customizable button, which is also the fingerprint sensor. You can customize this button to do a few other things under settings. On the bottom, you will find another microphone and another speaker grill. This is also where you can find the USB-C port. On the back, you will see the three camera setup and the LED light. On the front, you will see the secondary screen as well as the 10 MP selfie camera. Now the overall design and feel of the phone are good. I feel like I do have a full grip of the phone when I'm holding it in my hand. With a combination of the Gorilla Victus glass and the enhanced Armor aluminum frame, the phone feels like very premium. For the price, it better be. Do you agree with me on this one? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. When I turned on the phone for the first time, I noticed how bright the front screen was. I mean, AMOLED 2X bright. I do not think that I ever had any issues with it under the sun. And that is just the front screen. The main screen is on another level. Once I unfolded the phone, it felt like I now have a tablet rather than a phone. And that is genuinely nice. This main screen also features a dynamic AMOLED 2X display. Both screens are truly vivid. Colors are saturated enough, but not too much. And I feel like there is enough contrast in there that makes the screen nice to look at. The front screen is also tough, made of Corning Gorilla Victus version 2. Not only that, but it also feels smooth to the touch. Meanwhile, the main screen is made of a highly engineered Samsung Ultra Thin Glass. Let me talk about the crease quick. Honestly, it did not bother me at all. Sometimes I do not even notice it's there. I know it is there because I can feel it as I run my fingers across the surface. And at times, depending on the angle, it becomes noticeably clearer. Overall though, it does not really diminish the experience. The folding mechanism of this phone has been holding up good so far, thanks to Samsung's proprietary flex hinge. It is not too tight to open, but it is tight enough to leave it on semi-folded like so. And that is another feature of this phone. You can fold it halfway, set it on a flat surface, and now you have two screens that you can work with. This is especially handy if you're editing videos or doing something similar. This is called flex mode. Let's talk about the performance. One word, smooth. I mean, probably because it is brand new, but the swiping and the tapping feels exceptionally smooth. And the response time is amazing. Only time will tell if the phone slows down. But so far, no issues there. There were also no issues transferring all my data from my previous phone to the Fold 6, including the apps. I did notice some apps I have to download manually. I have not tried all the apps just yet, but the ones I am using regularly has been working good so far. I did need to restart the apps when I'm transitioning from folded to unfolded or vice versa. I think this is more for optimization purposes. Now the software also has the capabilities of supporting multiple apps at the same time. And because the screen is bigger, multitasking 
is quite usable. Based on my experience, you can have up to three apps running at the same time. Now the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 operates on Android 14 enhanced by the One UI 6.1.1 interface. Accordingly, owners can get up to seven years of software updates and protections. I think that is nice. Now let's talk about the camera. As mentioned, the main camera found on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is a three camera setup. Altogether though, you have five cameras in total. On the main camera setup, we have the ultra wide on the top. Then we have the wide angle camera with a 2X optical quality zoom on the middle. And at the bottom camera is the telephoto camera with 2X optical zoom. The front camera or the cover camera located in front is only described as a 10 MP cover camera. You actually have another camera cleverly hidden inside the main display. This is only described as the 4MP UDC or under display cameras right there. I understand that some people are not happy with the main camera only having 50MP max. But to be honest with you, I feel like the photos and videos taken from the Galaxy Z Fold 6 are stunning and beautiful. And I do not think I will ever really notice the difference between a 50MP, 100MP, and a 200MP. Unless, of course, I'm going to be printing large images, then yes. But if it is for content creation like this or day-to-day -day videos and snapshots, it would not matter at all. Talking about video quality, I have no qualms about it. Not when I can get up to 8K video quality at 30 FPS or 4K at 60. And not to mention full HD slow-mo up to 240 FPS on the main camera. The front camera also has the same 8K and 4K features, but with only full HD 120 FPS feature. Comparing to the previous generations of folds, battery has not really changed at all, but better upgrades and such, the battery life has been prolonged longer. So far, I have had not any issues with heating and such. The Samsung Galaxy Fold 6 support 25 watt wire charging and 15 watt wireless charging. Battery for me has been good so far. I did have a few instances where I had to charge it midday, but even with content creation use, by the end of the day, it still has some juice. There are countless things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6, but it is far from perfect. First, I feel like when the phone is unfolded, it is slimmer than even my Galaxy Note 9. This made the keyboard slightly compressed. I noticed some more typos on my messages than usual. I do like how the setup of the keyboard when it is unfolded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Second, the battery. Yes, I know I mentioned the battery has been good so far, but I do notice that it drains a lot faster than what I expect. It is probably because I'm using the main screen more often, or maybe I have maxed the settings out. But you see, for a premium phone like this, I shouldn't really be expecting anything less. Third, when I'm using the phone unfolded with one hand, I must use my pinky finger to hold the phone up. That's just probably me, but it can be annoying sometimes. Fourth, yes, the Z Fold 6 is thinner and lighter than its predecessors. It is still bulky. It is not an easy feeling to put it in my front pocket or back pocket. And that is without a case. So, can I justify the price of this device? Absolutely. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is a groundbreaking device that redefines what a smartphone can be. Its ability to fold into somewhat a compact form while offering a large tablet-like screen is truly a game changer. While there are some minor drawbacks, the overall experience is incredibly impressive. And for what I am doing, this has slowly become an essential part of my life. Now, would you get the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 for yourself? Or if you have one, how's been so far? All right, beautiful people. Thank you for staying with me until the end. If you have not, please consider subscribing, smash that like button while you're at it, and do not forget to click on that notification bell. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye.